thank you for tuning in. This is the rebound portion of our, of our series uh, as we talk about um, damping. And specifically, we're talking about snowmobiles, but the, the discussions we're going to use here apply to ATVs, motorcycles, UTV side-by-sides, uh, just about any vehicle. Uh, the terminology is the same, what we're talking about is, is the same. But the spin on it we're going to put for our market here today is for snowmobiles. Um, in our compression video, the video is a little bit longer. Uh, we, we walked over to the bench behind me and looked at some shocks, kind of pointed to them, that kind of thing. So we did that in that. So watch that video if you haven't seen it. Uh, and we're just going to skip to rebound damping and how it affects the ride, the safety and the comfort uh, of our vehicle. Um, to, to review, the compression damping is the resistance to the speed of, of the shock or of the, 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 whatever it's attached to, the ski or the, the skid if it's behind us on the snowmobile. The compression damping is the permitted speed of that ski coming up, right? The, the resistance to that motion. And then the rebound damping is the permitted speed at which the shock is allowed to open back up again after the bump, after the landing, after the, the impact, the rebound is how quickly can that shock come back up. Um, we as riders, we, can, we control the compression event based on how fast we're going and how big the bump is. If, if the bump is very gentle and smooth, the shock comes up very slowly. Uh, but if, if we hit a very aggressive bump, a small bump that's got a lot of height to it, the shock will come up very quickly and then the spring rebounds it. So we say that we as riders control the compression event, uh, how, how fast the shock recovers. But the only thing that's pushing that, sh that ski or that, that skid back out again is the spring. Whether it's the torsion spring behind us or the coil over in front of us, it's pushing that ski back up. So it's tempting for the OEMs to throw a dart and select the valving inside that shock absorber for a certain speed, for a certain recovery speed. As we're going through the, the, the bumps on a Saturday afternoon or a Sunday, how, how fast do we want that ski to recover? So I get it, I get why they think it's a one size fits all, but it all comes down to cost. They can't afford to jam all those good parts in there and make that adjustable so that we can tune it as a rider uh, and keep the cost of the snowmobile in check. So that's why aftermarket companies such as Accelerated Technologies sell these amazing shocks such as the Elkas here to give you that control back again, allow you that tuning back again so that as you're going through high frequency bump bumps and, the, and the, every time the the ski is coming up and then it's over the compression direction and then it's going back out over the rebound direction and we hit the next bump and it comes up again, going down, hit the next bump and it bottoms and, and starts to shake our teeth out and, and our feet are bouncing off the running boards. Now we can do something. Once we have shocks with rebound adjustability, we can quicken it up, we can open them up, we can allow that ski to snap back out, get back to ride height, be ready for the next bump. So that if we want to rip through that chop at 50 kilometers an hour, or if we're on a lake faster than that, we, we can, we can pile through there and stay in control. And, and that's what, that's the underlying reason why we're here is to give you guys and girls safety on your machines. We want you to stay in control so you can pick the speed that you go through those bumps with and keep the ski biting, keep the, keep the carbide biting, keep the track on the ground, keep the skid up ready for the next bump. So all that's done with the rebound adjuster. Um, so that if the, if the trail, for example, is, is billiard table smooth, we can slow the rebound down and we can, we can give that vehicle, that snowmobile, incredible stability and platform, all kinds of control, enjoyment, safety. And then if the, if the bump starts to, to pick up, say we pass the groomer or we get off a top trail and onto a secondary trail and it's beat up and all of a sudden we're feeling, oh, we're limited, we're, 
where we're not feeling safe, we can open the dampers, open the, open the rebound damper, maybe close the compression if we want to keep them strong, open the rebound up, let that ski or that skid follow the terrain. So we, we pick up incredible safety, incredible re regaining control when we have the ability to adjust the rebound damping. So it's, it's tuning the speed at which the ski or the skid comes back down after the bump and we match that to how fast we're choosing to go over that particular terrain. That's, that's the magic of rebound. Uh, all these Alka shocks have 40 clicks of rebound, which we may seem is way, way too much to comprehend, but in reality it's permitting us a huge window of adjustment, whether we've got strong springs on there or soft springs. Um, we'll guide you through that when you purchase them from us. We, we guide you through the setup, we pick the springs that go on the shocks, and then we, we adjust the rebound damping or tell you, hey, you're going you're gonna to be in this window of seven or eight clicks, depending on if it's a bumpy trail or a smooth trail, have a great day. So, uh, and then we're there with you after the purchase to, to answer your questions, to work with you, to, to keep the vehicle at ride height. If the rebound is slow, it packs down and then the skid couples and it bottoms and we, it's uncomfortable. We feel it in our back, we feel it in our legs and our arms. It's, it's, it's painful. So um, getting a good shock package in a machine is really instrumental. And um, we work here with Elka Suspension. They make an amazing product. They have incredible adjustment. We'll work with your budget and recommend something that's just going to blow you away with an with, uh, uh, un, unforeseen level of, of enjoyment from your snowmobile. So we're, we're touching on rebound in this video and uh, we're visiting revalving, um, which is something that we do on a lot of our setups that are coming through the building. Um, I grabbed a selection of, of shock absorbers here, OEM shocks. Um, this is a Skidoo X package, ski shock, no rebound. This is uh, a Yamaha, Yamaha, this is a KYB, sorry, um, XRS, premium top of the line Skidoo, no rebound. This is an Arctic Cat Yamaha Sidewinder, Zero Pro rear shock out of a, uh, that's probably an LTX 137 skid. No rebound. This is a Fox QS3 shock. They do have an R, QS3R, that has rebound, but this shock, no rebound. So what we find when, when we set sag, when we put the proper torsion springs in the machine, we then evaluate how quickly is it recovering. And through years and years of doing it, we, we can match that to a trail speed. We look a customer right in the eye and say, that rebound is perfect for going 20, 20 mile an hour, tops. Uh, if the trail gets bumpier, then reduce that. If the trail's really tabletop smooth, maybe you can go a little bit quicker. But basically what happens is, is as that vehicle is, 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 is going up and down, years of watching data acquisition, uh, we know that these things are going up and down over the trail. And if the rebound is too slow, it just goes down, 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 and then it couples, or, or in some cases can bottom on even the smallest bumps. So quite often in the shop here, we will revalve uh, the internal portion of the shock so that the rebound is more appropriate for doing 50 kilometers an hour, 40 mile an hour, uh, whatever trail speed uh, you're, you're, you're using in your region, we can match it to try to, to have the machine stay up. Stay up at SAG, we say. Uh, SAG is about one third of travel. When the rider is on board with fuel uh, and gear, that's what we shoot for with our torsion spring selection uh, and, then, and then tuning that with the preload. So we try to maintain that while the machine is operating down the trail. So that's where we, we do a lot of rebound revalving in the building here when the customer maybe doesn't have a set of Elkas in the budget. 
Um, they don't have to buy a full set of Alcas. We, we quite often will say, hey, the, let's go dual rates on the, on the ski shocks. Uh, we'll change the uh, spring maybe on the center shock and get you a good Elka rear shock. We, we work with that, whatever's in your budget uh, to give you the best possible outcome uh, and keep, keep it on the line. So, thank you for tuning in. Please give us a call or email us and we can quote you on, uh, on a package that's just going to um, change how you viewed snowmobiling uh, for the rest of your life. So please uh, reach out and, uh, and we'd love to help you out. Thanks for tuning in.